Yo, what's up guys and gals, Rick Nigy here. We're gonna go through some coins, whether this is a relaxing thing for you or something that's interesting. We're gonna be looking at $1,000 worth of these little guys. Sacagawea dollars. Now, there's a lot of different types of these. Um, these are, this is the normal size we're gonna be looking at. These honor Sacagawea, the Native American, the little baby there. This is a 2000P. Um, it was minted in 2000 with the Philadelphia mint mark and pretty nice coins, pretty nice coins, but there's different ones here. There's some from the 70s with Susan B. Anthony. I've never opened this before. That's kind of the whole point and the fun. It's like a, a gamble. This is sealed, right, by the reserve, and so we don't know what is in here, which is part of the fun. I'm going to open it in front of you. We're going to go through these. There's a thousand coins. I won't go through everything, but I'll show you interesting ones throughout. Um, looking at them and yeah look at this now you're gonna see a lot of presidential coins um, because there is a presidential set just like this one for example this is Abraham Lincoln so they've done every single president from George Washington to present of all the deceased presidents so for example Obama is not one of them Clinton is not one of them I think the last one is Reagan and Bush senior so yeah, so in here there's 25. Every roll is $25. So it's a dollar each, right? So 25, a total of 50, which if the math comes correctly, it's $1,000. So pretty cool. Each one's worth a dollar. And we'll take a look at these. These are, these are the Susan B. Anthony ones. We're going to be looking at probably a few of those. There's also ones that commemorate Native Americans. And there's also some that commemorate the ingenuity of Natives. Um, so a lot of that going on, but you can still find some really rare ones um, And I'll point to them. We won't look at every single one. So let's get right to it So I'm gonna try a little bit do it a little bit differently for this video. I'm going to open them up I'm gonna show you some interesting ones um, And then obviously if there's any repeat I won't go into those um, But I'll fast forward through a lot of it so you can see the fast motion through all of this also some of these one dollar ones have the year stamped on the side i don't know if you can see that which is cool the later ones um so that is cool if you know how i do it this is how i do it i go through them one by one but i, I put them on the side and i do five rolls at a piece that kind of works for me i'll show you what they look like the presidential ones have the profile of the president on one side and then on the back they have uh, Lady Liberty, Statue of Liberty, basically, and then stamped a dollar. And they're all the same on that side. Uh, so they should be a dollar on that side. And then the other side, you have the president. And, yeah, they're, they're pretty fun to look at. I've, I've collected all of them already, but I'll show you a couple. In fact, we'll probably just start with this one, George Washington. I'll kind of show them uh, because they're cool if you've never seen them. These aren't super common coins, uh, but this is George Washington. Right, and so let me tell you, it says what president, he was the first president, he was president from 1789 to 1797, and on the back they're all like this for the president, Lady Liberty a dollar, so no matter what president, they're all the same, right? Some are shinier than others, um, we want to look for some that have mirror finishes, that would be an estimate mark, we're also looking for rarities, um, we're looking for anything that is a double and so forth like that. These are the Sacagawea ones. I've already showed you that. I'm going to put these over here. And these are Susan B. Anthony ones, so I'm not going to show them to you over and over and over again. But this is a 79. There's some with errors on there, but I think I'll skip the, those. I'm looking for more of the, the S mint mark ones. There's also the 2000P with the Philadelphia mint mark. That's a Sacagawea one. There are some boldly detailed tail feathers that you want to find on that one. I don't have my microscope with me on my hand. I have my magnifying glass, but not my microscope, and so that won't help too much. That's worth $4,500 if you find that. I've never found one of those. Um, so this is another type one. Sacagawea on one side, and on the back, um, there's like a Native American doing some type of farming. So that's kind of cool. Oh, here's one. This one's actually pretty rare. In fact, this is one I'll highlight for this video. It's Native Americans in space. You can see a Native American woman writing something, designing something. There's a rocket and like a spaceman. This one's actually pretty rare, I'll tell you. It's a 2019 Denver. Yeah, this one's worth, they only made 1.5 million of these. 
uh, this is worth five dollars and fifty cents it's worth more than a dollar so we found one we found a good one we found something that's rare usually the ones that they make of these they they're making the millions like I don't know a lot more than this so basically this isn't common to find if you find it so that's kind of cool so we'll put that one aside actually which is makes me super happy there's also super shiny ones which don't mean much that's just how they were minted and I'm not looking for that too much I'm just looking for certain things now this is a weird looking this one let me look at this no. it was just weirdly the metal looked a little weird um, these are fairly common, the Sacagaweas, um, but I'm going to expect them further, the P, the ones with the P later on, off camera, because they might be that detailed feather one. Oh, look what we just found. A Canadian dollar. I've never in my life have seen this. Wow. A Canadian dollar. You see that? There's like a duck and like a marshland ocean. 2011. Oh, wow, with the queen on the back. I wonder how much this is worth. I'll have to do more in, uh, searching on this one. I've never seen this before. It's a Canadian dollar. I wonder if it's worth a dollar or more. Uh, I have a book that shows me all international coins from all countries from 1900 to today. So I can get an idea of what that is worth. That's kind of cool. Although I hope it's not worth less than a dollar because then I got... There's a little bit of... I don't know. I got messed up on the conversion right there. Another Millard Fillmore. It's a beautiful example of a coin right there. It's very, sh very shiny. Two Zachary Taylors. I once found a box like this with a thousand Zachary Taylors. Every single one of them was the same, which is kind of crazy. Um, I tried to sell it. No bidders. I don't know if it has to do with like popularity. On I sell on eBay as well the rare coins. I have coins that are worth up to $1,500 that I sell on there that sometimes I get people who are looking for them. So look at this beautiful Chester Arthur. So to let you know, Chester Arthur, this you can look on the side to see what type it is. 2012P. Yeah, they only made six million of these. This is worth about six dollars. So I guess I'll put it aside. I have one like that, but this is a beautiful example. And so I'll just save it. Ooh, that one has seen better days. All right, we're going to fast forward a bit just until we get something interesting. Just want to show this one to you because I haven't shown it to you yet. This is Ulysses S. Grant. Very cool. He's the 13th, oh, excuse me. What does that say? 18th president. Sometimes it's a little hard to read these. Yeah, 18th president. There we go. And yeah, it's just a beautiful example of one. I'll show you this one. Rutherford B. Hayes. He is the 19th president after Ulysses S. Grant. Beautiful coin, beautiful luster on it. Nothing special. Um, I can look him up. Rutherford B. Hayes. Where are you? 2011 Denver. So Rutherford B. Hayes. Where is he? Wow, this is a $10 coin, $10.50 coin. Again, I have them, I'll set it aside, but that's pretty cool. That's even worth more than the other. Now I am gonna show this one to you because this is Grover Cleveland. He's the 22nd president of the United States. What's really interesting with him is that he was president twice. He was president once, then another man was president, and then we have him again as a so he was the 22nd and the 24th president and i think that's so awesome he has two coins he's the only president with two coins and i think that's really really awesome i'm trying to look him up just to see uh, the difference but let's see so yeah grover cleveland two coins 22nd and 24th president show you this coin it's not worth tons it is worth five dollars so it is worth more but what's great about it is that this is a coin that was not issued for circulation 
it was something that accidentally got into the mix. Only 3.7 million of these were made comparatively to others similar to this that were 500 million made. So this is pretty rare, 2002 Philadelphia. So I'm gonna put it aside. Um, that's a cool find. Again, the, the coins that are not issued for circulation aren't worth tons, but they, um, yeah, they're, they're not common. So that is a rarity. So that's a really cool one that we found. Here's another, uh, oh no, this is Howard Taft. So I'll show this one to you. Here's another one. 2.52 million of these made. $5 Sacagawea, just because of the year, 2005 Denver, not a lot made, $2.5 million, $5 worth, pretty cool, pretty cool, like I said, not issued for circulation coin, so that's one to put aside as well, some people will pay for those because they want, this is another rare one, I haven't seen too many of these, this commemorates World War One, World War Two with the different helmets, it is not in great shape. I will admit that maybe a little cleaning meaning what's just soap and water is what I use I don't use any acids or anything code talkers because you believe it or not some of this stuff may come off code talkers so I'll tell you how much this is worth I'll look it up in my notes it's a cool design I really actually like it and if you haven't seen the movie uh, about the code talkers you really should it's a good one and um, let me see because yeah, so this is a cold Code Talkers. It's a 16 uh, Philadelphia. So I'm going to keep this one because I don't think I've seen it before. Yeah, only 2.1 million of them made, again, compared to others that are like 36 million. So $5.50, more than the dollar, but not tons. But we'll keep looking. Whoa, what in the world? Oh my god goodness hold on hold the presses I've never seen this in my life wow do you see that two shades there's a silver shade if you notice all of these sac let me get another sack of joy hold on they're all like gold colored this is not really gold okay but this is a, tw a 2007 P I'm gonna have to look this up because I've never heard and or seen the double colors like that holy moly 7p wow well apparently 3.6 million but i've never seen the two-tone so i'm gonna have to look that up specifically to see what's up with that that is that is beautiful wow look at that so yeah and so um this is cool this is a cool find i'm excited about this i have no idea what's it worth but i'm gonna have to look that up two-tone like that wow I'm saying that aside. Yeah, so this is another, this is a great box, by the way. I'm finding a lot of stuff, and, and I'm really happy about it. This is a 2007 D, Sacagawea, D as in Denver. Um, again, not issued for circulation coin. 3.9 million. I've never found so many of these in one box. Um, these are worth uh, $5.50 all day long and people will buy them because they're not super expensive but people want them if they're collecting the years right so let's say they want all the Sacagaweas of every year every letter so D P S or whatever they would get something like this because they're relatively inexpensive uh, but on my end it's great because they're good finds right? whoa okay so I'm gonna just show you this one again this is gorgeous and then this one, Franklin Roosevelt, again, the second half of the 20 presidents that they made. This one is worth quite a lot more. It's a 2011 P. I've, I've had this one. Um, I have this one in my collection. Uh, but let me look for it. Hold on. It's a 20, oh, excuse me, 2014 P. Yeah, this is an $8.50 coin. Only 4.7 million of these were made. Um, beautiful. Franklin Roosevelt, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one and I'm definitely gonna keep this two-tone. I have never I'm gonna have to just off camera check that out. That is amazing. Look at this beautiful Calvin Coolidge. This is cool. Also on the second half of the president. So let me see, it's a 2014 Denver. Yeah, eight dollars fifty cents. Very nice. It's a it's a nice coin. I like it. Very nice.
Here's another one not issued for circulation. Again, they're not extremely rare, but they're not supposed to be in circulation. So these are coins that maybe someone had in a collection or whatever, and they, you know, they just were like, oh, I'm going to, it's a dollar. So they're like, I don't care. They're in a case, or maybe they're their uncles, and they don't want it anymore. They give it to the niece, and the niece is like, I'm just going to return it, put it in Coinstar, and then, you know, they're back here. So this is another not issued for circulation coin. Okay, there's nothing special about this coin, except that it has a gigantic hole in the top. So I'm guessing someone made a necklace through this, maybe like a school project or just someone was messing around. Yeah, you find me sometimes. It's just interesting to see. It's still worth a dollar. Like you can still give this in the store, but no value in terms of more than a dollar, right? Whoa, this is cool. All right, so Richard M. Nixon. I've been to his presidential museum like three times because I'm addicted to presidential museums now. This is a really cool coin. Not a lot of these were made. It's the latter half of the presidents. So let me tell you how many they made. Let me look on the side here. 2016 Denver. Okay. They only made 4.3 million. This is a $9 coin right here. And this is not issued for circulation. The Nixon ones are not, except for the S, which are the proofs. So yeah, so this is a rare coin. Very, very cool. And we found it in this box. This is the box that keeps on giving everyone. Here's another one with the hole. Unfortunately, it's right through the head of President James Madison, the fourth president of the US. Again, this is common, as I mentioned, people make necklaces out of these and things like that. And so you would just put a wire or something or even like a little piece of string and make a necklace by the way the coins that i'm putting over here in the box i'll check those later to see if they have uh, bold detailed tail feathers on the back um because that could be worth up to four thousand five hundred dollars so we will continue our search believe it or not everyone these are the last five, five rolls We've gone through 50 rolls, and we found quite a lot of coins. I'm going to go through them, because um, we found an amazing one that I have gone through maybe 20 of these boxes in my lifetime, and have never encountered a coin. Maybe you have, I don't know, but I have never in my life encountered a double colored, you know, like a silver, oh, look at this one. Isn't this cool? They usually have that on them, and there's, it's just white, so that's kind of cool, but I've never encountered a double colored coin like that. I'll show it to you again. Um, and I'll have to look it up, do research. I, I'm assuming it's a special edition. No one painted it like that. Like that's, that was minted like that. So we're going to have to see how much it's worth. And I hope it's worth a lot, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh, look at this one. This is pretty cool. This is a Lyndon Baines Johnson coin. Um, not too great condition. It's just a little dirty. I might be able to clean it up. I have one of these already. It's a 2015 Denver. Let me see. Yeah, $8 coin, 4.2 million minted. Um, it's on the best shape, but we'll put it aside. Showing you, these are all 2,000 uh, P. Mint Mark Philadelphia. I will look at them separately. To see it behind, there's bold uh, tail feathers, which could be worth $4,500. I've never found one of those, but who knows, right? So as I close this box, uh, we've gone through the entire box. I just want to show you some of the finds that I've got, which I'm really excited about. Code Talker's one is really nice. I really, really like that one. Uh, Linda Baines Johnson's cool. They only made about $4 million of those. We also have a not issued for circulation 2007 Denver excuse me, Philadelphia. Then we have a Franklin Roosevelt, pretty rare, a few million of these, not too many of these made. Nixon one's really cool. I love the profile on him. It's like a side profile. Beautiful, beautiful design on it. Like the people who design these, this is a cool one. Native Americans or Native Americans, yeah, in space, Indians in space, it's also called. Uh, so that's a great one. 2005, this is not issued for circulation. 
Calvin Coolidge. It just looked really nice, but they didn't make tons of these. So I included it up here. Chester Arthur, just very shiny. President Chester Arthur. This was cool. This took me by surprise. I've never even seen one of these. Canadian with a, a duck and 2011 dollar. I hope it's worth more than a dollar with the Queen, the late Queen Elizabeth II on the back. There's profiles of her that look younger. So this is later on in her life when she looked a bit older. You can see the difference in, in color there. Uh, same size though. 2002, this is not issued for circulation. Grover Cleveland, remember he has two coins. Rutherford B. Hayes. And finally, the Pisteros Listans. Look at this thing. This thing is simply gorgeous. I mean, look at this coin. This is a great thumbnail right here. For people to just look and see these coins. Um, so happy with what I found. I'm going to look this one up. I hope it's worth a lot. Even the back. Look at this. Oh, the eagle in silver and the letters. My goodness gracious, in silver and everything else in the gold color. Thank you so much for joining me. I am happy to make more of these. So excited that you like what I do. I love looking at coins and I love sharing them with you. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for your support and don't forget, be hopeful.